Hello there. My name is the 8-Bit Link, and today I thought I would do a Let's Play of the Direwolf 20 mod pack. So, let's begin by creating a new world. Let's call it Eight's World. It's my world. I'm gonna create a new world. I'm gonna wait. And here we are. Let's see here. Looks like over here we have Mallowberry Bush. Mallow, Mallow. Give it some room to grow. These are cool because they grow berries like crazy. Excellent source of food, especially when you're just starting. So we've got a ravine up here. That's great. Good for getting resources. Lighting's a little weird. We can fix that later. Let's see if exploring a bit. Wow. Okay. So. Sewage pond, I guess. Let's punch a tree down real quick. We need some, we need some resources to make tools. To continue to explore. Make a workbench, but not just a workbench. We can put it on a stick. Make a pocket crafting table. What's a pocket crafting table, you ask? Well, it allows me to craft. Well, on the go. See? Very useful. Now you don't have to carry the crafting table and drop it every time you need to craft something. Instead, you just got it with you. Got some pigs, but we don't really need food. So we got that bush. Some copper. Some coal. Coal is really useful, especially when you're starting out and you don't have solar power or any of the more expensive renewable powers. That's weird. Monopod. What happens when you break it? Do a mono beans. Curious. Ah, excellent. This is a rubber tree. Now rubber useful for industrial craft machines. So we've got rubber sapling, that's great. It's basically used for every integrated circuit that you make in industrial craft. What you do is you make one of these tree taps, then you right click on those orange spots, and you could technically, you see how it leaves like a little circle there? You could technically click that more, right click it more, but every single time you do, when it's not leaking sap like that, there's another one over here, it has a chance of making that like tapping point disappear. Which, if you're trying to get rubber, isn't good. If you intend to cut down the tree, you may want to just completely tap out all the uh, rubber in it before you cut it down. Let's see here. Trying to get rid of these leaves so we can get some more these rubber tree saplings. There we go. Let's see if we want locks. Looks good. We need to dirt towel a bit here. Oh, looks like there's another, so there's another uh, leak up there. You can tap. There we go. Hey, rubber. Blocks we need to break. That's here. Should we? Ready to go? There it is. Okay. All right. Now we got a pile of saplings. Head back. We're spawned. Get some zombies. And build a house. Okay, how's a cat in the hat? Various Minecraft noises.
noises. Let's punch down the rest of this tree real quick, and we'll start building a house. My house is pretty utilitarian, I'm not quite as artistic as other YouTubers like Etho and whatnot. Alright, let's do this. Craft, the pocket crafting table uses the space in your inventory, which is nice because I can just build it, start building things in my pocket. And if I ever wonder how far I'm going, how far I am to the resources, I can check. And when it's all said and done, I don't have to transfer it to another table because that it's already right there. these episodes, or at least this first one, a bit longer, considering it's pretty boring. I'll probably cut the uh, lame bits where I'm not doing anything. Alright, now that we've got this tree pretty much cut down. Get down here. And build a house. 51 spruce wood, that's not Not much, but at least for now it's home. Make a pickaxe, because I saw some coal up there. Parkour in Minecraft is not my forte. Let's see here, we'll jump up the side here. That's some coal again. Wood, so why not? Some coal here, some behind us. Alright, then 11 cobblestone. Because that's how many you need to make a pick and a furnace. Apologize if you guys can't see this. I have a high contrast monitor. 14 minutes off. Probably just a gamma in post. Ooh, more malabares. That side. Ooh, it's growing another block. That gives me the heebie so that's going away. Plant a tree here. Plant a few trees around here. And shack up in here. Let's throw up a few torches. Make this place at least look like it was inhabited at one point. Make a basic pick. And a furnace. Oh, yeah, we got enough resources to make a 
double chest, hold on to stuff on this for now. Toss all that in there. Thing about malabares is they fill up your saturation and they grow pretty quickly. Huge before long. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit. Mining. Oh, problems. Also problems. Huh. Okay. Well, now we're in a hole. Great. Um. We don't even have torches and then thing to bring any. Interesting. Well, there's some copper we can pick up. The previous version of Minecraft copper was pretty expensive. And that there's a narrow, narrow band that it showed up. I'm not sure about this version. Let's see here. Let's make some torches. Can't see anything. Just dig this way now because you know what? Why not? And now you come to the elephant room. How are we going to get back out of this hole? It's ways up there. Let's just use my wooden pick for now and try to get rid of this thing. It could burn, but you know what? Oh! Everything uses iron. Just to some degree. Start heading up here. Some more copper. That's always good. One of those slightly, but not really, OCD people who, in my case, have to smelt things in stacks of eight so that way I don't waste any coal. Just because that's how I roll. Okay. Gotten pretty far up. We're still on the way up to the top, but. We are back to the top again. We are doing some shenanigans. So let's put that there. Oh, yeah, they see me. Problems. Swing a pick at his ankles and hopefully he'll. If you can see there, that's an arrow. Alright, I think we've got enough for now. I will see you next time on Let's Play Direwolf 20 Pack.